The uh, Wild Music Festival, uh, held on May 9th at the Greensboro Science Center, is a part of the UBEATS project. What this is all about is a way of bringing our immigrant children into the STEM pipeline. And we're doing that by enabling them to use communicative skills that are based in a, a musical perspective, which we call biomusic. Biomusic is an area that is about uh, the science of music and it explores music as part of a larger animal communication system. And so what we have at the uh, Wild Music Festival is a, an expression of life through sound, essentially. We have within our uh, program approximately 50 to 55 uh, kids in the immigrant community here in Greensboro who are in grades roughly third through eighth. Plus, we have four high school uh, ESL kids who are uh, also paid as mentors. So they act as teaching assistants, but they also pull together as a team to create a documentary, and they were mentored by a Time Warner Cable news producer, Teal Tiska, who helped them create this documentary about the project. During that time, the kids who all have iPods recorded the animals that are living at the Science Center. They also learned a good deal about the general sound environment, which we call a soundscape. We have a hydrophone, which is a recording microphone that goes under water. So they were able to actually then capture the sounds of fish in that big shark tank. So we had what we call the soundscape of the Science Center that included both the terrestrial animals and those that are in the Psyquarium. The children also, in preparation for the Wild Music Festival, then interviewed the elders of their families to get a list of sounds from their countries of origin that their, their older family members miss. They're just, they're sounds that are part of the past. They are not represented in American uh, setting here. In addition, one of the things that we also did through the UBEATS club time at the Science Center was that we also invited a, a few um, young people who are in the graduate programs who are in who are moving into science careers to come and talk with the children about how they are preparing to go into science and how when they were high schoolers you know some of the things that they did in order to prepare for college and then every time we had uh, one of the animal caretakers at the Science Center many of them are in their first position. They also talked about their career development and how they got into this particular profession. So the Wild Music Festival is the crowning achievement of all of these marvelous activities that the children have participated in. And we're excited about going into our second year now thanks to uh, this multi-year grant from the Burroughs Welcome Fund. The Wild Music Festival is always going to be seen as uh, sort of that show and tell capstone moment for the UBEATS project. And we foresee a lot of exciting opportunities because what we want to do is to uh, continue to leverage the opportunities for the children to actually do research. And so we're going to be doing a lot of that as uh, little teams of researchers and I, I, I'm very interested in, in helping the children um, integrate a lot of these activities into the community so we're, we're working on ways to help that happen.